kind of play that you might want to engage in with your dog is tug. But dogs can get really rough and you don't want to let this get out of control. So this is a little lesson in playing tug to teach impulse control. And you can see Popo is here waiting for her tug because she's had that she's had that training. So I'm gonna be able to hold it. Uh oh. Oh no no nothing for jumping for it. Okay. You need to back up a little bit. I'm going to tell her, get it. Good girl. I'm going to tug with her for a short while. Good. It's okay. Tuggy, tuggy. Good girl. And I'm going to, now she knows to let go when I go for a treat. Good. But as sometimes they don't. Oh, ready? Get it. Okay. So she's playing tug, 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 tug. Really getting involved in that. Really getting involved. And so, uh, <laughs> good. She let go. This is, this is learned. And I want to show you. What happens when your dog doesn't let go? Let go, yeah, yeah, get it, ready? So I'm gonna get it right here, throw it on the ground, move the tug out of play. So when I move the tug out of play, it's out of sight, I get her back, I ask her to sit. Would you sit? Bring out the tug. Now if she goes for it, I'm gonna hide it again. Stay, and, oh, she goes for it, I hide it again. I want to be able to bring the tug all the way out and ask her to get it. Yes, good girl. Okay, tug, 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 tug. And when I want to get it back, I take that treat, I throw it on the ground, and she lets go, and the tug is out of play. So your dog learns to sit and wait until they're invited to play. This keeps them well out of arousal.